Hey YouTube, so this is problem number 12 from chapter 7 from the section on the natural response of an RL circuit. So in this problem, we have a 240 volt independent voltage source connected in series with a 12 ohm resistor. And we have a switch that is connected here to the power source and then disconnects at time zero to this point two here with the um, six, six ohm resistor. And then we got 4, 40, 72 millihenries, and 10 ohms there. We're looking for the general equation for the voltage drop across the 40 ohm resistor. So let's go ahead and, um, uh, and take a look at the circuit before the switching happens. So before time 0, the circuit looks like this. Plus minus 2, 40, 12 here. Four, 40, the inductor is a short circuit, and 10. So we have some, um, we have some, some current that's going through here that's going to split at that branch. So we have some I total that's going to split something here and then something through the inductor. So we need to find the I total. So I total is V over R equivalent. So this is going to be 16 right here in series with, we've got 16 is in series with 40 in parallel with 10. So then that gives us 1 over 40 plus 1 over 10. So that's going to be 16 plus 8, which is 24. So, um, so then the, I, the total current that's going through, I total, is going to be 240 volts over 24 ohms, which is 10 amps. So we have 10 amps going in here, and it's splitting splitting and some of it will go through the 40 and then some will go through the 10. So now we're going to use current division to figure out what's going through the 10 and the 40. So current division says that the current will split like this in proportion to the equivalent resistance of all the parallel connected branches divided by the branch that you're interested in. I'm interested in both. So let's just pick one. So 40, we know 40 um, in parallel with 10 is 8. We have to calculate that already. So then the 10 amps, so the I40 is going to be 10 amps times 40, oops, excuse me, 8 over 40. So, so that's going to be 1 fourth. Um, so one fourth of eight is two. So we got two amps, two amps going through the forty at times zero. Oh wait, you know what? It's never a good idea for me to do this in my head. Forty, it is two. So then eight divided by ten times ten is eight. Okay, so then the current going through the inductor is I naught, that's going to be 8 amps. So I 40 is 2 amps. Okay, so now let's take a look at what happens when the switching happens. So that's all the initial condition. So now the switching happens and this goes away, becomes disconnected. And then the circuit looks like that. So now we're really looking for this um, voltage drop. And we know that voltage across uh, an inductor or a, um, a, a resistor is IR. So this is going to be I not I40 then. Um, so I times R. So what we're looking for is we have um, this 8 amp going through here, right? So we know 8 amp is going through here initially, and now it's going to split between these two. And um, so let's go look, let's figure out 
the inductor current. So the inductor current then is I L of T. That's going to be the initial current through the inductor times E raised to the negative L over R. I never remember if it's L over R or R over L. R over L. So R over L times T. So that's the general equation for inductor current. And we need it because we need to figure out how it splits. So we know this um, initial current through the inductor is 8, right? So we've got 8E to the minus R. Well, what is that R? We have a whole bunch of resistors, and the R is going to be the resistance seen by the inductor. So if we were to open this up, what would we see? Well, we would have, we'd be series connected to this, which is parallel connected to these two. So 10 parallel connected to 40 gives me 8, and 8 in series with 10 gives me 18. So that R is going to be 18. So we have negative 18 over 72 millihenries times T. That's our general equation for the current that's going to split. So um, 18 divided by 72E minus 3 is 250. So, negative 250T. So that's that current. Now we're going to use current division again um, in order to figure out the, the general equation for the voltage. So now we have this current going through two parallel connected branches, and we're going to use current division. Remember, current division says the current will split in accordance to a ratio of all the parallel connected branches divided by the, the one you're interested in. So the one I'm interested in is 40. And um, the total equivalence we already calculated was 8. So that's how the current is going to split through that branch. So times 8 times 8E, and then the current itself, we just found um, the inductive current, is going to be 8E to the negative 250 T. And this is the current I40, the general equation for the current through the um, 40 ohm resistor. Okay? And that gives me 88 times 8 divided by 40. That's going to give me 1.6 E to the minus 250 negative minus 250t. That's the current that's going, the general equation for that current. But we're not looking for the general equation for the current, we're looking for the general equation for the voltage. So, the voltage is going to be current times resistance. So, V40 of T, the general equation for the voltage is going to be the current times 40. So, 1.6 times 40, that will give you 64E to the minus 250T volts. And that's the answer for problem number 12. Guys, don't forget to take a second to like the Facebook page and to also share this video if, it was, if you found it helpful. Thanks.